Alright, Innocent Pie. So today, I invited you to talk about fears. Oh. I yeah. fear nothing. Is that... Are you sure? Are you sure? We were about to find out, but, though. But that thing, it scares me. We'll find out. <laughs> it's called my cooking. Oh! <laughs> I, I saw a few of these. I think I think I know what the answer is for for many people. A lot of people mention that their fear is their favorite graduating. Oh, that's that's the most one-sided one I've seen. <laughs> Ina, out of curiosity, do you have like maybe like a celebrity or a streamer or like anyone that you really hold high in admiration and if they were to retire, would that Something that scares you or something? Mm, I don't think that really scares me. For me, if it happens, I would just wish them for, you know, success in whatever they do next, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For me, I've I've had people that I, I, I really liked graduate. Mm. <laughs> oh, and maybe Hello Kitty. Uh, so... <laughs> You know she had videos and everything. She had mm. she had VTuber vlogs, guys. It's gone. <gasps> All of it's gone. No. I know. It's so sad. It's like I wanted to watch this. I wanted to share it. And look, guys. This is my, this is my hella witty. <laughs> so no. I don't think it really. It doesn't really scare me, as you say. Because mm. like it's just something I have to accept. And if they do go somewhere, you'd be happy to see them there. Yeah, so I feel I, like I, it's just like uh. I wish them well, and it's like the time I spent, you know, really liking them is a fond memory, and it's not like yeah. that. Yeah, it's like you grew up with them, essentially. Yeah, it's like, I don't want it to end, like, I'm scared for it to end, like, I don't think it's to that extent. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of it, it's kind of like, um, content creator retirement, like all those good goodbye YouTube, or mm. it's been, it's been a good ride YouTube and all that stuff. It's kind of like that, but... At least for those people, from what I've noticed, in somehow, for example, mm. I think, oh, uh, it, it's a game theory, but that's just a theory. <laughs> I, I forgot. Oh no, I forgot his name. I think like I understand if there comes to a point, especially as a content creator, where you just want to create stuff but instead of being always like out in the front, like oh uh, yeah, you know, yeah. out always, you know, being the. Being the person on the screen, you know? Yeah, I think I that's what... I completely understand. Yeah, I feel like... It's just like a reminder to just enjoy... Things as they happen, like... In the yeah. present. Instead of fearing for it to end. Just just enjoy it now. My my manager wants to add something to this. Uh -huh. uh, Henmama said... Are you scared of the black text on a white background which writes announcements on Twitter? <laughs> I think that's fair. I, at this point, though, I just look at it and I... Okay, first of all, I do hate it when they try to do like a prank out of that. And then they just uh. do like, YOLO, you just a joke, guys. It's like, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna click out of this. Yeah, I, I mean... One thing similar to that that scares me is when I wake up and I see like 50 messages on Discord. I'm just like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? That's what I'd be more scared about. <laughs> what about the Twitlongers? This isn't one of the lists. I don't, I don't remember putting this, but for Twitlongers, do they scare you? I think it's more like it's a headache. Yeah. It's a, a possibility. Mm. Twitlongers, so they do be scary if you're the one who's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 